friends. Good morning. Hey, can you say hello? Hello. Hello. Um, we're up early again. Kay is sleeping. Um, she had a long night at work. So we're running around trying to get some stuff done. I like early mornings. It's nice and quiet. Everybody's already at work, so it's peace for me. Um, we're on an adventure today to kind of find him some new cups. Um, his evolution of cups have been quite interesting. We've gone from the bottle to the sippy cup to the cup with the straw. Now we're looking for kind of like a multi-piece cup with a straw that goes in and out and stuff. Trying to avoid spills, but we'll see what we can find with. Um, but yeah, come along and enjoy our day with us. See you. Can you say hello? Hello. Can I get the smolder? Ooh, zooming in on that beautiful face. Can you get cheat? Can I get the crunchy smile? Ooh, crunchy face. Whoa, dual cameras. Whoa, you're so popular. Good morning. So I know you've already seen everybody's adventures out and about while I was sleeping. I'm not lazy, I swear. I just got home at about six o'clock this morning. So. Anyway, long day at work. Somebody wants to say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. And Mama. also, another little interesting tidbit from today is that somebody decided that he was going to take his diaper off while he was sleeping. And for all of you who are parents, I don't necessarily think you have to be a parent to know what happened when I came into his room after his nap. But there was a lot of deep cleaning and a lot of bath taking and I think we're going to have to start potty training. That could be interesting because Mama. I just, I don't even know where to begin with that, but I guess we'll find out. So hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, I'm sorry that these are kind of, um, kind of slow going with me and T and A are all out and running around and stuff. Um, I promise that that will not be the case all the time. <laughs> but when I work at night, I am in this weird position where when I come home and I get up and I have so much stuff I need to do at home that then I don't want to be exhausted when I'm at work either because I have to work until, you know, 5.30 or 6 in the morning. So, um... So, a lot of my time is spent at home doing stuff. So, but that will change. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to do some fun stuff. And then, um, so, I mean, it'll, it'll change. But, all right. Somebody wanted to show you that he has pants. Can you say pantalones? No? No pantalones, senor? <laughs> Yep, kid has pants on and still wants to put more pants on. It's kind of like that book with the guy with all the hats. Except a little more entertaining. <laughs> Alright, hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Alright, so in watching other people's vlogs, I've always been really appreciative of them when they are honest and open and share actual emotion and where it doesn't seem like everything is is ta is scripted and you know all that so I figured today right now I would be I would do my own little open discussion and sorry there's the um, what we call the music truck the ice cream truck going by if you can hear it um, A goes nuts. Is that the music truck? Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool, huh? Music. Music. Yeah. Eventually, I'll have to tell him what it really is, but for right now, it's the music truck. Okay, so, um, I started this channel because I wanted to do something and show myself that I could do something for a full year. Something that I wasn't required to do and that... I've seen other people do so I know it's possible and something where I would be happy to look back at it at the end of the year and know that I did it. And I knew it would be hard and I knew that 
I didn't really go into it knowing what I was doing, so that would make it more difficult as well. But boy, have I hit a wall. I mean, I don't know. I think this is probably where a lot of people just decide to stop doing the daily vlogs because looking back at them, it just seems like I'm always doing the same thing, you know? And I'm not doing this for anybody else. I We started this channel so that it would be my own personal goal fulfilled. It's not for the amount of subscribers, like I said in that tag. It's not about the number of people subscribing or watching or liking or commenting or anything like that. It's about me knowing that I could do it and proving to myself and to my husband and to every, you know, my family that I can follow through with something because I used to be really good and then all of a sudden I'm just kind of a, I don't know, I mean I'm not that bad about it. I'm really not that bad about it, but I just, I feel like I needed to challenge myself to get myself back on track. So, but it's day six and I've run out of ideas. You know, I mean, I've run out of, I don't want to bore myself or anybody else with a bunch of tags. I don't want to be a bore with what I do on a daily basis because then it makes you, it really makes you look at what you do day to day. I mean, you can live your life doing the same thing over and over and over, but until you look back at it and watch it and realize, wow, I really do the same stuff over and over and over, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of eye-opening. And, um, and I know, I just need to get off my butt and do things. And it's not that I don't do things. Like, I'm, I'm an active person. It's just, I don't know. I didn't expect this to be so... Um, I didn't expect to get this feeling out of it, you know? I didn't expect for it to be, um, so real and so, like I said, so eye-opening. So, um, I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like I need to keep doing this because I need to prove to myself that I can do it, but... I don't know if I can do this another 11 months, you know? I mean, 365 days, that's a long time. I'm on day six, and already it's um, it's really difficult. And I've heard that it gets better, and I've heard that it just takes time and it gets easier. And I'm hoping it's true, but I don't know. Mama. Sorry, this is kind of a downer. I don't mean for it to be a downer. I just, it seems like, you know, I think about what I want to film and I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's good enough. And like I said, it's not for anybody else. I'm not doing this for anybody else. I'm doing this for me. But at the same time, I don't want me in a year to look back at me now and think, wow, you didn't do anything, <laughs> you know? Wow, you're really boring. So, anyway... That's just what I'm thinking today. I'm not usually this big of a downer. <laughs> but I just feel like I need to change something about this and figure out how to... Something needs to change with this channel um, to make me more proud of it and to make me want to keep doing it. Because right now, I don't really feel like continuing. And that's not a good feeling. That's not good. That's not the point of this. So, all right. Off my soapbox. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for listening. Thank you for following us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Follow us on Instagram at Pack of Packas.